Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela and this is my precious journey. Yeah, um, so I basically did nothing but nothing this weekend. Well, I did some. Um, I had these great ideas that I thought they were great at the time. They're not so good. I don't know. First thing, this, this, I almost had this done, but then I ran out of yarn. I need less than half a ball of this serenity chunky yarn. And I went over to Aberdeen's. Oh, I can just get one ball. It's no big deal. And maybe one or two things. So I don't have to put a big order in and be five bucks delivery. It'll be, it'll be great. They're out. <laughs> They're completely out. Story of my life. So then I thought, oh, maybe I want to knit a pair of socks. Oh, uh, yeah. So I went on. I was all gun ho I'm going I went down to Mary Maxim's, couldn't find any needles. I didn't know what needles I needed. I talked to both Ash and Linda, and it's just like... It's very complicated, and I decided I'm not making socks. <laughs> I just like, yeah. I don't know what to tell you. It's been one of those weekends. And still got lots of yarn left, guys. So if you're really interested, go to my website. I, I, I love this yarn. I do. Um, I think it's the shipping that's got everybody. It's $17 shipping. And there's nothing I can do about it. It's actually more than 17. I'm paying like it's 20 some odd dollars shipping, but I'm paying for the extra little bit, the cost of it. Like I'm going to swallow the, the cost, the extra cost because I know shipping and that's for us and Canada. It's just, I know what shipping is and it's crazy. So what are you going to do? So I'm sorry about the shipping. It's just, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. If I could swallow the cost of all the shipping, I wouldn't make any money. <laughs> mm. um, I have my ice yarns order supposed to come in. So you're seeing this Tuesday. So, but today is Monday. Um, I have my live today or later. I hope that goes well. I'm sure it does. So yeah, so then there was that. And then I thought, well, I'm going to do a mosaic. <laughs> and then I started watching the videos on how to do it. I'm so confused and complicated. And, and then I thought, oh, Nancy contacted me about a week ago. Nancy McDonald, she's one of my subscribers. I love this woman. Her and I have a good banter report. And I just love joking and carrying on. And she's fun. I, I find her very fun. So she told me about this lady, the Rabbit Tree Homestead. So if you haven't, and I'm not doing a shout out to do a shout out. No, she, she's a, dis, she's dyslexic. <laughs> it's perfect for me. We speak the same language. Not all there half the time. <laughs> We're just like, oh yeah. She explains it very well. And I think I almost have it. And I'm going to have to watch them a few more times. And you know, I get so bored halfway through a video. And so, but I've almost got it through her. So if you're doing a mosaic or, and can't or want to, or just can't understand the concept of it or anything, I'm going to link her below. Um, the rabbit, the rabbit tree homestead. So thank you, Nancy, for that. I'm going to, I've checked her out. I've watched a few. Now, when I watch videos, it's on the big screen. And sometimes I can grab my phone real quick and do like, oh, what? A little message. Half the time I don't do. It's just that I'm really bad for it. I'm really sorry. But, you know. And half the time I've got this going when I'm watching live, so I'm not talking and... Mm -hmm. So then I thought... Anyways, the Rabbit Homestead. She deserves a look at if you're going to do mosaic. Like, just... 
yeah, she explains things very well. So then I thought, I seen uh, the Popeye um, guy's video and the whips. Well, Ash, he's killing me, guys. <laughs> he's making me want to knit again. Or does he? Or is it just in my head? I think it's just in my head. It's got to be because... So I thought, oh, I'm going to knit. I got all these needles. That didn't get too far. <laughs> so I'm sitting here. I'm looking at my yarn, and I'm trying to figure out what am I going to do. Guys, I think I've... And I don't want to say lose my cold drill because I still want to do something. I just don't know what. And maybe I'm overwhelmed. So my husband's like, I want you to do a mosaic. I want you to do the mosaic. I want... I'm just... It's a lot of counting, I'm thinking. And, oh. and when I do something, I want to do it where I don't have to think too much and don't have to work on it too much. To... to to really work because it, then I'll get bored and I don't anyways I love mosaics and I really want to try one maybe a, maybe I'll just do a little I don't know anyways I don't want to overwhelm myself with that either <sighs> so what else so I thought oh I'll do the stitch markers because Carrie still wants the stitch markers oh my hands are way too sore right now so and they're really dry because I um I had to do some cotton work for um, my aunt. I'll show you. My aunt ordered because she loved what I made her. Just loved it. And she finds them very easy to scrub her back. So she wanted three more. I think she's given them to her friends. Which, so I had to make three different ones. And they stretch, guys. Like, they stretch. So it's easier for older people to scrub their back better. And she's, like, in her late 80s. So it's so much nicer for her. And then I just shipped them off to Nova Scotia for her. And uh, so that's getting out tomorrow. So I should put it there so I can get it ready for her. Um, And then... um. I'm going to do a video on and show you what I've been working on with my, oh, I'm so proud of myself. I got my February stuff done for my uh, calendar for the Fiber Yarny Sisters. I got that done. I got the square done. I just want it wild. Yeah, I just want it wild. And I got all February done for the temperature blanket. I'm so proud of myself for that. I just wanted to keep going and going and going. It was, uh, it's the moss stitch I'm using. And I never, when I first started, I'm like, oh, I'm not going to like this. I do. I'll show you that tomorrow. And then, yeah, that's all I've been doing this weekend. Just a little chit chat. Frustrated about having to pay 20 bucks for a ball of yarn because I have to order it. And then you have to pay shipping on that. I get it. I get it, guys. I do. Doesn't mean I like it, but I do get it. <laughs> um, yeah, and then my mom. So my sister comes over. Let's start with that. She wants a vest like my mom, but she wants it made out of this. I have this yarn in blue. The yarn that I did for the sweat. It's so complicated. Um, so she wants a vest made because she's tiny and she gets cold. And that's going to keep her really warm. And then my mom wants a sweater, but she wants it where it's really tight. And I'm like, okay, I can do the knit, the stitch that looks like knit it, which it's very easy. It's just single crochets. But that's going to take a while, which is fine. And, but then she sends me a picture of a sweater coat that's made out of granny squares. We all know how much I love scranny squares. <laughs> and she wants them all different color and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, 
Mom, I love you. <laughs> and I will make it. I will. Because I have all those little balls left, and I think they would be perfect for it. And she wants it all different colors. It's going to be gorgeous, but I want to trim it all in black for her, so, you know. But, yeah, that's what's been going on here. Not much. I just don't know what to work. I, there's lots to do. I just don't know what I want to do. I want to do something. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. That was my weekend, guys. How was your weekend? Eventful full as mine? Mm -hmm. And apparently I was really grumpy on the weekend. I went to my mom's. She phoned me today and said, are you out of your, out of your, are you out of your snitch? I'm like, was I grumpy? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Was, you know, did I snap it? Yes. She goes, oh, you're very grumpy. <laughs> so I apologize for being grumpy. I didn't mean to. Blah, blah, blah. You know, I don't know what's going on. I think it's this, I want to do something and I want to do something extra special, but I just don't know what to do. I just need to, my problem guys is maybe I have a form of adult ADHD. I don't know. And I don't want to diagnose myself. I know I'm dyslexic, but I can't sit and watch a, a full hour long tutorial. I can't sit there and do it. I, if I watch a tutorial and I think I got it, I'll just go running with it. <laughs> Half the time it's wrong. But that's what I do. What are you going to do? Oh, well. Anyways, I'm looking at my hair. And what can I do? I got to find something to do today because I'm going nuts. And I want something. And I thought, well, maybe I'll get a tutorial ready and do a tutorial. But I don't know what I want to make it on. You've already got two sweaters. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, guys, uh, I'll see you. See you soon. <laughs> I'm going to go and look at my yarn all day and figure out what I want to do. <laughs> Bye everyone.